So I'm gonna say something really quickly that God has put inside of me and that I need to be obedient and share as a faith nation as we're in this together, is that the person that's in our White House right now, President Donald Trump, there has been so much controversy. The news media cannot stop talking about him. He's making the news so much money and the media so much money, right? But one thing that is on God's heart that is so important for us to grasp is that God has truly honored this man and given him the grace to be put in this office. You have to look around and see what, this is crazy, Donald Trump is in the White House? I don't want you to get in the pattern um, as a part of this faith nation slandering our, our president because God is very specific about this and that he says in his word that if we pray for the hearts, then their hearts will be swayed to the heart of God. And if we believe that, because we're a people of faith, and if we believe that, then that means that if we pray, if we pray sincerely, when we pray consistently and as a body collectively, then that man's heart will be submitted to Christ. I want you to think about the deeds that you have done that weren't so cute, the actions that you have said that weren't um, all honorable, some of the things and the people and the mistakes that you may have gone through that you don't want anybody else to know about. And I want you to look at yourself right now, even though you may not be all the way over here, you've come to a point where you've made some huge huge steps of transformation only by God's grace. And I want you to ask yourself, am I different from the President Donald Trump? Especially if a whole nation or if a group of people decide to pray and intercede, especially knowing that God has appointed this man to be in the office. Well, this man did this and how could he do this? And do you see and how could y'all stand up for Donald Trump? We have a responsibility to say, okay, let me listen to my father. Let me listen to my Holy Spirit and let me get a sense. Let me get a pulse of what the Holy Spirit is saying and let me respond like that because if you're responding any other way that's re reacting to the things that you're hearing that you're seeing in this natural in this physical world then it's not the way that God desires for you to respond all right well how are y'all saying that this man can be this this kind of president and that God is for him but I see this but God says no I need you to see me I need you to see my perspective and so it's all about your perspective it's all about what you see and what you're deciding to see and what you're deciding to hear, what you're deciding to let into your gates. And I want you to tune your heart to God. I want you to tune your spirit to God. I want you to understand what God has to say about this issue because that is the only voice that matters. And it is a blessing for God, for those who will listen to him and humble themselves and pray for our president in office because there is a revival coming to this land. You are a part of it. And the president is gonna have such a huge impact about providing the grace that is upon this land, providing space for the grace that God has already provided on this land. Now, I don't know about Republican, Democrat, I don't know. I may not know that anymore, but I know that I'm on God's side and I know what God says. And I know that I must pray because when we pray, we can shift the atmosphere in our president's heart. We can shift his thoughts. We can shift his feelings. We can shift things. We can shift things. That's what prayers do. They shift it. When we focus on that and we don't focus on what we're seeing right here, we can literally shift and that is the key to this presidency because this man's heart, because he's received the grace to be in the office, God is going to allow his heart to receive the manifestation of our prayers as we do it together. And so I wanna urge you, as we're gonna pray for the president at the end here, but share this video and let's get on all one accord so that we can be a one mind, one spirit, one truth. And even if you're like, how dare she say this? Don't she know what he's saying about this? What Don't you know what he said? In, in, all this stuff and don't you hear the allegations that came out yesterday and today and the day before and all this stuff and I, I I you know I hear it you know I hear it's all around trust me I hear it but that's not my focus right now that's not my focus and if you're focusing on that what other areas are you focusing on that God wants you to gain and get a different perspective on are you focusing on what's in front of you or are you focusing on the truth about your situation because this is why we've been in such a predicament in our wives because in our lives because we think that we know more than God we think that we can do a better Better job than God can at this world when he created this world and so I need us to pray and gain God's perspective on this Heavenly Father we thank you so much 
for your son, President Donald Trump, J. Trump, I believe. We thank you, God, that he um, is put in position, God, to honor you. We thank you, God, that there are people watching this video right now that may be a little heartbroken from this video. They may be a little torn up. They may be a little sad. They may be a little confused, discombobulated, Father. And I pray that you would comfort them, Father, and let them know that you are in control. Let them know that there is nothing that goes past your sight, goes past your knowledge, Father, that you don't know about. And I pray, God, that you would soften their hearts, God, to creep in and to allow them, God, to humble themselves and to come to you to seek you, Father, and to gain your perspective and your wisdom instead of putting their own thoughts in your mind, Jesus. I pray that you would allow them to gain a wisdom mindset, a wisdom perspective that comes from only you and only you above, Father. I thank you, Jesus, that you are gaining back, God, the authority that belongs to you on this earth, Father, through the most unexpected ways, God, through the most unseen ways, God, and you're using us, God. You're involving us, God. You're equipping us to do that, Father. We are your vessels, God, to manifest your glory here on this earth, and we declare right now that we will no longer be a stopping point because of our own feelings, because of our own actions, because of our own thoughts, but we will allow your wisdom to overtake ours. We will allow your thoughts to overtake ours. We will allow your, your everything, your feelings to overtake ours, Father, and we will do things according to you only and only and only, and we declare, God, that we are in right standing with you. We are in right standing with you. We just, just say that with me. We are in right standing with you, Father. We declare that in Jesus' name and that there is no thing that can take us out of your perfect will for our lives. Yeah, if you would just repeat that over your mind, over your spirit, there is no thing that can take us out of the perfect will for our lives. And the Father will begin to give us the desires of his heart in every circumstance and every situation over your life. And that you may find freedom in that. You may find truth. You may find liberty, liberty, all the things that God provides and promises here on this earth not just in heaven but here on this earth let heaven come to earth so I thank you so much. Um, I, I'm excited for us coming together and for even when we see the next thing that's gonna come out as they begin to decrease through our prayers, as we see the next thing that may come out or the next slander or the next thing, know that those people are of the world. And if you watch this video, you have a responsibility to respond, to respond and to pray and to ask God, show me your perspective and to listen and to not allow your flesh to answer for you or your friend to answer for you or that, that law was just passed to answer for you but to say God show me your perspective God show me why you put this man in office God tell me what my role is here God show me your heart on this issue and so I, I may be obedient because there was no thing that will take me out of your perfect will for my life in Jesus name amen I love y'all so much faith nation uh, please share this video so that people can come together and we can pray and we can shift the heart of this president and we can have a beautiful nation that is coming back to the father in Jesus name because it's all about him it's not about us it's not about you it's not about me it's about him amen so i love y'all so much and i will see you soon share subscribe there's more videos coming where this came from <laughs>